Thanks a lot for the opportunity to participate in this very important conference. Um, let me tell you about the new drugs and new complications when treating the breast cancer and a bit about the patient's quality of life. A little because uh, this is a very difficult problem that, to my mind, is not considered sufficiently in Russia. Let's remember the determination of the quality of life. It includes the physical, emotional, social, and functional well-being. Unfortunately, oncologists do not are not always able to provide the necessary assistance to their patients. In my presentation, I will mainly describe the physical condition of our patients. The first question that I'd like to ask you, when choosing the treatment method, you consider the level of advancement of tumor, the social status of the patients, uh, the availability of uh, drugs, uh, or the quality of uh, patient's life. Please answer the question. Have a look. In now, can you see the results? I can see that uh, mostly the advancement of tumors, uh, social status 6%, quality of life 11%. Uh, advancement of tumor is considered by 70% of respondents. Thank you. That's what I actually expected. We targeting rather the disease than the quality of life of our patients, and we depend on financing a lot. Definitely, the success of our treatment of our metastatic breast cancer is connected with personalization of approach depending on the molecular and genetic subtype. So, we are at the edge of a new revolution in the treatment of um, luminal HER2 negative um, uh, breast cancer. That's due to the introduction in clinical practice of uh, the CD6 PDKH uh, inhibitors and uh, the new epictorial CA mutation inhibitor. Recently, we witnessed uh, the modifications uh, that happened uh, in treatment of metastatic and early HER2 positive breast cancer. The success in treatment of this tumor subtype was explained by introduction of um, anti hair 2 drugs. Now, the triple negative breast cancer also has new options of treatment, um, and that is the opportunity to um, use immunotherapy in patients with expression into the tumor cells. However, the new drugs we received are related to the development of new side effects. Part of the drugs are target ones. And besides the typical adverse events for cytostatic therapy, there are also specific side effects related to the blockade of a certain target. Not a new topic for us, uh, using anti hep 2 uh, agents and class-specific adverse event of these drugs is the cardiotoxicity. But uh, we already know how to manage this. We know how to treat our patients uh, to not develop the cardiotoxicity. CDK46 uh, inhibitors, as of today, we have three drugs of a kind, palbariba and amemetoclip that uh, uh, have the class-specific side effects, that's a neutropenia. And uh, there are also some differences in toxicity, like cardiotoxicity, diarrhea, and hepatotoxicity. Triple negative breast cancer at present uh, has a new treatment option, that is immunotherapy. Uh, that is presently discussed already at the early stages of the disease. Have a, we have a chance to use atezolizumab at um, a positive metastatic breast cancer in the first line in combination with nabokrepaxel. And 
we can use pembrolizumab at MSI high uh, to the previously patient, uh, in previously patient, uh, treated patients. Um, uh, we can use the previously patient in previously treated patients. And there's uh, immune-related uh, complications, of course. Um, now, regarding the uh, new drug uh, that only appeared in Russia in the previous year, inhibitor of mutation in PIK37 gene, alpid cyber it has its own specific adverse uh, effects related to blockade of uh, P3K kinase uh, um, uh, way that's hypoglypicemia and uh, skin rash. CDK46 inhibitors, I'm sure that um, a lot was mentioned about these drugs, uh, but let me briefly uh, mention the differences of adverse events of these uh, drugs. Well, basically, well, historically, it was number one in uh, clinical clinical practice and its main toxicity is neutropenia, uh, rather um, uh, a lot of high grade, three or four grade, 54 percent. The second a drug has also frequent neutropenia, but lower than palbociclib, 29 percent of grade three, four. Ribociclib has its own specific toxicity. That is a longer interval QTC and that happens in 8% of uh, patients and requires electrocardiogram before the um, uh, riboticlib therapy and the mm, control during the treatment is necessary. Abimaciclib is a drug with a lower frequency of neutropenia, 27% of a grade 3 form, but it has a specific gastrointestinal toxicity. 90% of our patients have a diary of different grades. In the year 21, at the Congress, ESMA, dedicated to breast cancer, there was published uh, the pooled analysis uh, of our results of Onman list showing how the quality of life of our patients changes during the therapy with CDK6 inhibitors. In patients getting endocrine therapy in the first line of treatment in all monolized, uh, emosiclip uh, slowed down the quality of life uh, decline and uh, provided longer time till the worsening of the general condition. Well, there was less pain and better emotional uh, status in absolute figures. That's um, 10 months. That's the difference before the worsening of the general condition of patients uh, during the uh, therapy of ribociclib. A large-scale deep analysis was made that um, evidenced that QL is going up with ribociclib and uh, endocrine therapy. Ribociclib, in combination with endocrine therapy, improves um, the time before the worsening of the general condition of health in many clinically significant subgroups, uh, both young patients uh, with more aggressive uh, disease and in patients uh, with a big number of metastases. The clinical benefit uh, scale as one. Uh, there was a voting, so Ribosaclip received the maximum number of scores, five, and this was done uh, with a longer general survival and better quality of life um, on the basis of the study Monolisa 7. Now monotherapy. Safety of using of uh, amatizumab and norlitacin was uh, studied in the study in basis 130. See uh, the interesting side effects pointing at potential immunum-related uh, etiology. You see that um, the research of breast cancer, the study, has not many significant immune-related reactions. Most of such reactions were hypocereosis in 17% of patients and hepatitis in 15% of patients, while 14% of patients only had hepatitis in lab tests. In general, immunotherapy in breast cancer doesn't demonstrate a serious adverse um, 
events uh, like in the previous studies on um, immunotherapy. In more than uh, 130 a study, it was shown that the patients getting such aggressive uh, treatment in the first line of therapy enables to preserve the patient's quality of life when they c get combined uh, therapy at the Zalizumab plus uh, the Clipar cell. So their life quality wasn't uh, worsened uh, due to the adverse events. Um, moreover, to lower symptoms of disease, the quality of life went up a bit. In the year 20, in Russia, there was registered the first agent that blocks uh, the mutation in um, the gene big 3 c that it's called uh, Pelisip Bikre. It's now registered in the second line of uh, treatment after progression with endocrine therapy in combination with Fovistron. In patients with metastatic cancer of a breast with a, a mutation in gene MPT7, uh, that's the solar one uh, study, uh, the uh, profile of tolerance, uh, the most significant uh, side effects uh, regarding both frequency and clinical picture were hyperglycemia uh, that uh, developed in alpilisib group in 63% of patients. This side, let's see. Uh, they're specific for this class of drugs and are related to the blockader of kinase way of P3K. The analysis of factors of hyperglycemia development in patients getting a pelisip was presented in this year on the basis of glucose serum in the morning before eating BMI and the patient's age. The patients were distributed into the high and low level of hyperglycemia development. So in the high risk group, the frequency of development of hyperglycemia of organs is 95 percent, uh, stage um, grade three or four, 90 percent. Low risk patients, their frequency of development of hyperglycemia uh, of grade uh, three, four is 6.7 percent. If uh, treatment was stopped uh, due to hyperglycemia, it was in 14 percent in high risk groups uh, and only in two percent of cases in the group of low risk. Um, However, the efficacy of albelisib didn't depend on the initial uh, metabolic status of the uh, patient. Uh, the survival median with no progression is practically same for both high and low risk groups, 11 months. However, before albelisib, we should have very good contact with the patient. Uh, we should recommend all the patients um, to exclude the uh, food with high content of glucose. We should explain the risk for development of hyperglycemia and to describe the symptoms of that. In the year 20, in December, a group of Russian authors published a consensus on prevention and correction of hyperglycemia in patients who receive alpilisib therapy. This article may be found in the uh, journal Modern Oncology, um, issued in December of the year 20. Um, uh, the test uh, glucose uh, serum, uh, the level of glycolized uh, hemoglobin, and the BMI and additional risk factors, uh, like the family history of um, diabetes mellitus, um, or gestation um, uh, diabetes, uh, or uh, the child both with uh, fetus weighing more, or with baby weighing more than four kilos. Uh, Thus, uh, the uh, subdivided by the uh, risk groups uh, development is done for adequate uh, prevention of development of hyperglycemia. Patients of low risk do not require prevention with metformin. They don't require frequent uh, monitoring of uh, glucose. First uh, uh, two weeks it's done weekly, and later uh, once a fortnight. Uh, patients of uh, moderate and high risk do need metformin, and high risk group 
has to have a high dose of metformin up to 2,000 mg per day and they require more frequent monitoring of um, uh, glucose. Metformin has to be prescribed very slowly. The dose has to be titered gradually, starting from 500 milligrams, and later we add one pill for several days, um, within several days. That's um, how we raise the dose till 2,000 milligrams per day. This is necessary to prevent uh, diarrhea caused by metformin. We have a chance to correct uh, the dose of our in case of development of side effects. Uh, if necessary, we can uh, remove uh, 50 uh, milligrams at each reduction, reduction one and two of the dose. Uh, reduction is only done if um, side effects of grade three and four take place. Um, mind you that uh, bringing down the dose of our as uh, um, causing the um, decline of the drug efficacy. Efficacy does go down, however, the benefits are higher in comparison with placebo. Just like with immune therapy, we learn how to do the prevention and how to correct the drug dose during the clinical trial. In solar one uh, trial, the frequency of our hypoglypemia was 6.3 percent. Next uh, research by Liv in cohort A, uh, hypoglycemia was 1.6 percent, and in B cohort uh, that was um, activated um, uh, later was 0.8 percent. So with time, we learn to prevent and to manage the toxicity to manage the hypoglycemia. The diarrhea uh, frequency when uh, using metformin uh, may happen, so that's why the dose has to be raised very gradually. And if we do that, then metformin doesn't improve the frequency of diarrhea. See the patient that received metformin, uh, frequency of diarrhea 49%, without metformin is 50%, same figure. Uh, please remember the following. Oh, when prescribing alpelisib, we should assess the risk factors uh, and uh, prescribe metformin for prevention for the groups of moderate and high risk. Step-by-step -step dose titration in brief time is necessary when prescribing it for prevention. If there is no effect from metformin, it's necessary to get a consultation of endocrinologist. That's necessary. And you should add the SGLT group on uh, the uh, that prevents reabsorption of glucose in the renal catalysis. Uh, you shouldn't use insulin for all the patients getting alpelisib, since insulin may activate uh, the blocked way of Pietri K kinase and thus uh, cause proliferation and progression of the tumor cells. I'm pleased to say that now we have an opportunity to get the online consultation from endocrinologists in the uh, Petrov Institute and um, Petrov Center. Endocrinologists are informed about the palliative side effect and they know about the situation. They know what to be done with such patients. So if at therapy with alpalicid you get hyperglycemia, you may get the professional consultation of an endocrinologist. I'm pleased to tell you that our patients with metastatic breast cancer uh, live longer due to the treatment. But during the therapy, there's a risk for uh, chronic diseases and side effects caused by the therapy. Quality of life includes uh, physical, mental, emotional, and social domains. So in conclusion, I'd like to tell you that uh, the quality of life, same as general survival, according to FDA, is uh, the main criteria uh, for the assessment of clinical efficacy. And in the year 20, FDA reviewed its criteria uh, when registering the uh, drugs, 
Now it's considered that the drug may be registered either on the uh, basis of um, improving the overall um, survival or on the basis of improvement of the quality of life. These two criteria are considered uh, most important by FDA uh, when treating the uh, metastatic breast cancer. In conclusion, my question, diabetes mellitus, is it an obstacle for prescription of uh, alpelisabe? Uh, answers, yes, no. Yes, if there's uncontrolled hyperglycemia, no. If uh, there's uh, uncontrolled hyperglycemia, then together with the endocrinologist, we can um, prescribe adequate sugar-decreasing therapy. Four options of answers. 60% believe that, uh, and that's only the beginning. We just entered this way. Please vote. Do you see the answers? I see that the majority believe that uh, we diabetes mellitus is not a um, counterindication for aparicib. Colleagues, I'm happy to get this answer. It's correct. And I hope that it's going to be used in clinical practice. True, diabetes mellitus is not a reason to refuse this treatment if there's adequate sugar-decreasing therapy. Thank you.